This video contains sample clips from the course Solving Simple Equations, Part 2. In this section, we're going to see how we can solve simple equations using the multiplicative property of equality. To multiply it by the triangle expression. Our multiplication property of equality, though, says that we must remember to multiply the left-hand side of the equation by the same expression in order to still have a true statement. If we are at this point in the solution pattern, then the next step in the solution process is which of the following? Very good. If we are at this step in the solution process. Let's look at an example. We have x over 2 equal to 6. It makes sense if we have x being divided by 2 that if we want to make this talk about x all alone, we should multiply by 2. x over 2 equals 6 then the next step in the solution process is which of the following? You're right. If x over 2 equals 6... Remember, we multiply both sides by 2. We want to remind you that we don't usually show all of the steps that we have been discussing. In our example, x over 2 equals 6, we would definitely show the important first step of multiplying the left-hand side of the equation by 2 and multiplying the right-hand side of the equation by 2. But then we usually go directly to the solution statement, x equals 12 in this case. In this section, we will solve simple equations using the division property of equality. We have 1 times x. 1 is the multiplicative identity, and 1 times x is equal to x. So we replace 1 times x with x using substitution, and we rewrite the rest of our equation. If 2x equals 6, then the next step in the solution process is which of the following? Remember, we divide both sides of the equation by 2. Very nice. If 2x equals 6, then the next step is 2x over 2 is equal to 6 over 2. This will help us focus on the solution steps for new concepts. But always remember that we are still using the important rules behind these steps even if we are not showing the steps in our explanations. Let's review how we solve simple equations. Our first example, x minus 4 equals 3. Right away we notice that 4 to check the solution to the equation, the number value 7, we are going to take our original equation, x minus 4 equals 3, and we are going to replace x by the value that we think is the solution to the equation, and that is the value 7. So we replace the variable x in the open statement by the number value 7 by showing that which of the following is a true statement. Very good. We show that 7 is a solution for the equation x minus 3 equals 4. Let's look at another example of a simple equation. This time we're going to use the division property of equality. Here we have our example 4x equals 8. So the number value 2 makes the open statement a true statement. It is a solution value. And we have checked our work. 
Solving Simple Equations, Part 2.